All right, finally coming back with a video. I'm at a house that I'm gonna, it's got a lot of stuff in here. You can't really see a whole lot just yet. This is, what is this, a kitchen? But anyway, I'm putting new laminate floors throughout this entire house. Everything's just brought in here for now because the other part of the house is cleared out. I've got the carpet pulled up here. So there's gonna be laminate through here also down the hall into this bathroom. This is a little laundry room. Um, and then there's a bedroom here. A little closet, I'll go in there. Down the hallway some more. Bedroom here. You know, all the way back through here. And then kind of an open bathroom through there. I'm gonna pull that linoleum on up. Um, the carpet's been pulled up, but it's not completely ready for me to start. Um, anyway, continue going down the hall. I do think I'm gonna go into this little closet, which is nothing, one or two square feet. And then in here, that's the laminate. I guess I can show that. This is what I'm gonna be putting in, let's see. Seven millimeter, I, I think if you get more 12 or 13, it's a little better quality, but I'm sure this will work. Um, so anyway, oh, I got one more bedroom. Maybe I already showed this, but this bedroom and into this closet. Now, this is not gonna be a how-to video. This is just gonna be me doing the floors and updating on my progress. But I will say this much. Um, there's a, a guy with a YouTube channel, I think it's called, so that's how you do that or something like that. Um, he's got a lot of great information on laminate flooring and other things, tile and stuff. But anyway, like I said, there's a bedroom here and on down there and then one to the right. And then there's this laundry room and this bathroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get centered up in this hallway and I might have to move it left to right so that there's no strips of wood, you know, kind of make it even with some big pieces. Get me a chalk line, run through the middle. I'm going to come off of that. I'm going to go into this first bedroom. So when I get going through this first bedroom, I'm going to get here and turn around. I'll start against this wall. And then from there, I'm going to, my, my thought process or my goal is to come start in here and just take off with the floor come right in here no transition just just flow right through and then I'll uh, flow straight into there no transition flow into there no transition flow into that bathroom no transition again and then back here you know I'll just back up in to that room so my goal and then uh, well keep coming and then flow Coming this way, flow right in here and then right in there. Now I will have to back into that a little bit and back into that a little bit. But the goal is to have no transitions and to just make it flow nice and pretty all the way through. So that's the goal. I'll, um, I'm gonna get started. I gotta get these floors ready. The floors are not ready. So I gotta do all that. So that's, um, that's the beginning. I'll, check back in a little bit all right all right quick update of where i'm at i got two um rows run i've got a couple of just blocks screwed to the floor to keep everything from moving as i go i'm going to come back at the, you know when everything's done and fill that in but for right now i've got this put in at the ends and at the joints i've got a block now this line, um, well, this edge, I found that edge after getting figuring out where I want to start in the middle. Again, I stole these ideas or using them from another guy's channel. I, I keep meaning to look, but there's a whole formula and everything else. I've got several boards lined up in here. These came apart, but I'm keeping these put together. I'll look, lock that back in. This will tell me you know how what the distance is for different mounts of boards anyway um i think the name of his 
YouTube channel is, so that's how you do that or something like that, I'll look again before it's over, but he'll, he'll tell you how to make a cheat sheet, how to find uh, a center line. So I used the chalk line, this was the center line, but I'm, I ended up moving my line out here so that I don't end up with a little strip later. I think I did it right, we'll know later on. But anyway, you come off of that line, it gives you a place to get started in here. Got those locked in, so as I put more boards in, I'm not moving around and getting off square, but I'm straight off of that exterior wall, and now I'm just gonna start running boards and hopefully make some good progress, but it took, I've been here since about 8.30, dog, it's 11.20. Mm, three hours, I got two board to run. But anyway, it just takes some time to get started. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get moving on. All right, I got out of here yesterday and didn't get a chance to video, um, but just wanna kind of report on what I've got done. I'm back, I, I worked from about 8.30 to six last night. Um, and this is day two, but anyway, this is what I got done. I brought this up right here. I gotta get some stair nosing, but I'm gonna go right on down. But anyway, I got most of the hallway. I gotta get this piece that I'm working on now cut to fit in here. But as you can see, I've got, I had to cut out the bottom with my reciprocating saw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 places. And then there's two more in the bedroom over here. But anyway, got this much done. And then to this bedroom, they put a mattress in here since. Um, I have to come back, of course, and get that. But the layout in the video that I, or the guy's channel that I keep talking about is, um, so it's, it is called, so that's how that's done. But anyway, and you can see this joint opened up on me. I should have, I, I glued that, but I should have put a piece of tape, so I gotta get that back together. But this strip here is about five and a half, six inches. And then the strip on that edge is gonna be five and a half to six inches. So that really worked out nice. So you don't have a little piece over here or a little piece over here. It's very, very, it looks good, I think. Um, so anyway, this is gonna flow. I hate that little edge. I'm gonna fix that. But anyway, it's gonna flow through here and then right on in, no transitions. Um, gotta get it in there. Gotta move that stuff out of here today. Got, got some things to move around. But anyway, got in this, closet some i'll have to get a little piece back in there but i'm working on this last row of um this hallway then i'm gonna start bleeding right on into the other side of the house but that's where i'm at now all right i'm back over here it's day three but it, um, i'll show you what i got done up to the end of day two i already had i already had this done um Hadn't gotten in this bathroom yet, but had to pull the vent up and had to get the trim up all the way around. That toilet will still have to come out. Um, you can't really see, but we got back in behind the, um, in this little laundry room. Had to pull these out and put them back in. Um, I already had that room done. Um, I finished this hallway, had a few more strips in there, and then got into this room. And it's gonna be hard to see because there's furniture in here now and those pieces it's that's just crumbs on the floor but anyway got this whole room done up against the wall and then into the bathroom you know it took some time to cut out around that what that is yuck um but got got it cut all the way around these Got to get back in there, but it, you know, obviously a little time consuming getting around this and this and in there. And after I did all this cutting, I saw another video on that side I keep talking about, about how to cut around these door jams. And he had a little bit easier way than what I was doing. His way's easy, but I was already, had already kind of figured out uh, a quicker way to do it. Just kind of holding the board up there and a way he'll show you how to mark it around. But after doing, I don't know, two, four, six, 
eight, ten in this room alone, as far as doorways. I'm starting to get the hang of it, not to mention two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. A lot of, a lot of doorways. So anyway, today's goal is to finish in there, get this bathroom done. There's just that strip back in there to do, and then in here. Now this, you know, I was told on all that stuff that we were gonna be ready to lay floors, but I will have to get this stripping up all the way around. But that ain't, that ain't terrible, it's time consuming. But they had a family problem, wasn't able to get as much done for them as they had planned. So I just had to charge a little extra to get that up. But I'm gonna see if I can get that much done today I certainly hope I will, but who knows. I did a good job getting it up under all those door casings and locked in and and blending from one room right into the next you know there's no transitions you know as but anyway uh we'll see but i'm gonna go ahead and throw this video up and um hopefully you give me some feedback subscribe like um be my friend whatever else you're supposed to do on these videos but um that's it that's my ramblings thanks guys Oh, don't forget to check out that guy's channel. Um, so that's how you do this, or this, so that's how that's done, or something. Anyway, good luck finding it. But it's a really good video, videos, good channel of, of the way that guy does stuff. He does a, a jam up job of explaining it, and he seems to know what he's doing. But that's it.